You said yourself, you don't know how to speak to these people. This guy is from here. They trust him. He speaks their language. Well, I guess B.B. King worked for Atwater. Okay, let's do it. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I've been your senator now for about seven years. And uh, with a little help from you, I'll be your senator for another seven years. How about that? <laughs> sure, you can applaud for that. <laughs> you know, I could go on forever out here, but I think it's time for a little musical entertainment. I'd like to introduce a very talented songwriter and a dear, dear friend of mine, Mr. Calhoun Tibbs. So I could tell the truth. Now look here. I've been in this neighborhood over 35 years. Seen him come and go. Now I've known the senator ever since he first come up. See, to make it in politics, you got to have a gimmick. The senator got him a gimmick. Me. <laughs> but matter of fact, he started my career by uh, giving me my first job. Wrote a song about it like the head here go. <laughs> I signed Senator Hamlet's shoes for a penny. Ain't never got paid. Wrote a song about it, like the hit hit go. <laughs> now the senator is my landlord. I seen him throw old ladies out in the gutter. <laughs> in the war on the drugs. He even started his own drug program. Now, you know, I ain't writing no song about that, but I think I could right now. Like the hit hit go. That senator knows about drugs. He been a dope head for 30 years. That does not affect my decision making in any way. Now, you know what? Now, I know some of y'all done heard them nasty rumors about the senator running around with other women. But I'm here to tell you, now I know for a fact that ain't true. That is not true. That senator would never touch no female. Wrote a song about it, like the kid here do. That senator don't fool around with no women. He prefers men who dress in leather. 